Hi all, Nancy LT Hamilton here. Um, little jewelry hack, I guess you could call it, on how to make open coils, which you will need to do occasionally in your life, especially if you make chain. Uh, so these are two different ways to do it. I personally have my favorite, the easy one. <laughs> They're actually both easy, but one is just easier than the other because it saves a step. So I am going to be quiet and get on that. So the first method is the one that I think is like second best, but if this is all you have, this is fabulous to do. So you've got a coil right here, right? And what you do is you open up this end here like that. Then you need to make yourself a little tool using oh seven to eight inches or uh, 18 millimeters or so of wire go ahead and bend it so that there's one shorter leg and one longer this should be actually out to here a little longer would make it easier um, the gauge that you use depends on how wide you want the gap to be so this is 16 gauge the gap on this is just a hair over one millimeter Whereas this 10 gauge here gives you close to two and a half millimeter gap. So it all depends on what you need at the time. So once you've made your little tool, it's a pretty simple little thing. I'll start with, actually I'll start with the big guy. You've run the long leg through, you hook your uh, wire underneath your loop and you just, take your finger and start turning. Oh my God, that's so easy, right? I'm gonna use the little one next. And then if you wanna get out, you can back up like that. Having the longer arm here makes it easier to spin it around. You'll see the difference in the size. So there's the almost you know two and a half and this is the millimeter um, and you can use any gauge in between depending on what your needs are so that's that method which I think is adorable <laughs> if methods can be adorable and I will get ready to show you the second which I think is even cooler okay for our second method we need to make a little tool I don't recommend using less than 18 gauge for this. Um, the gauge of the wire is gonna determine how wide apart the, the coil is. And the size of your tool will be de dependent on the size of the mandrel you're gonna be using. So you wanna have, uh, I don't know, it's about seven or eight inches of, of wire or 18, 19 millimeters of, I mean centimeters of, um, wire so then i'm there's like three or four inches hanging out there is that right Let's see how bad i am at this yeah i'm terrible two inches <laughs> so i'm doing a like a u shape and then i'm going to wrap all the way around and come back on the other side like that so i have two legs facing in the same direction and these don't have to be quite this long so you have a tool that looks like this this gap here you want to make sure that it's wide enough to encompass your wire so if you're using somehow lost my 10 gauge that oh there it is so if you're using 10 gauge wire you want this gap to be able to fit the 10 gauge in there so open it up with pliers or in this case the wires thin enough that I can pull it by hand so here's our our little tool you can bend it even more like that now what we're going to do is we're going to put an L bend on here and slide this in. It's a little too long. Um, slide that in between the jaws of the winder. And we're going to take, let's say, two turns here. Now what I'm going to do is put on our thingy tool. I'm going to open these legs up here. Okay, so this my winding wire, my coiling wire, is going to go in between those two legs and then I'm going to turn this to the back side and now right here 
in the middle of these two legs is our winding wire. I'll back up a little bit. And I've still got a little pressure on my foot down here. So we need tension on the wire while we're doing this. So my foot is just lightly on top of the wire and I've run out a length of it. I need to run out some more so I can actually reach the winder. And as I make the jump rings, as it spins, uh, it'll slide under my foot and keep the tension on it. You could also use a vise to hold the wire taut. So what you can do is open up your vise. I made these magnetic leather uh, jaw thingy covers and you can take your wire and run it up through here and then tighten down just enough that you can actually so like that's too uh, if you're using electric that wouldn't be bad just a hair less so that it runs through here snugly but not uh, with difficulty Okay, so theoretically I have tension on my wire down below and I'm going to start turning this and keep this up here. And I'm going to keep the pressure, fortunately it's working really well down there, keep the tension on. That one worked very well. I'm very happy with the results. I need to clip this off so I can get the thingy tool off. Uh, so that's that. This is uh, perfectly spaced for what I'm using, doing right now. So uh, hopefully when you need to have this kind of open coil, one of these methods will work for you. Fancy Nancy LT Hamilton <laughs> saying bye-bye. See you next time.